All right, I wanted to quickly show you my setup with the FBV Express Mark II. Um, I've installed the Line 6 FBV control software, and this is, comes from line6.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, the, the key here is just to get this set up. Basically, I mean, I would just do it exactly how I did it here. Um, you know, this make sure you have MIDI CC, MIDI CC, program change, program change, MIDI CC, MIDI CC, MIDI CC, and then set these up the same with 000, 001, put 11, one, uh, 018, 017 custom, and just c copy all these settings. And once you do that, um, when you come into uh, Amplitube, uh, you can then, let's insert a pedal. Um, let's just choose this phaser, we'll throw it there. Um, we're just gonna right click, assign MIDI, bypass, learn bypass. And then when I click um, on my uh, FBV Express Mark II, I'm gonna just click the first button and you'll see then it just starts working. Let's just insert another one, this one, and let's right click there, assign MIDI. And for this one, I'll do um, number two. And then just for fun, you can see as I'm clicking it here, it's turning on and off down here. Um, just for fun, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll add an EQ. Um, where is it? Seven band. Usually I'll add this EQ somewhere in the mix. I'll have this turn on and off with one of the other effects. And so for now, I'm just going to click the first one. And so now you'll see these two turn on in tandem, the seven band EQ and the phase 10. And then um, this one is on a separate pedal. Um, and so you'll see it going on and off here. Whereas if I do this, you'll see these turn off in tandem. Um, now let's say we wanted to reverse that and have this seven band EQ turn on and off in tandem with this one. We're gonna go here, control, control change preset. And we're gonna find the seven band EQ. We're just gonna change this to a hundred. We're just gonna reverse it and say, hey, uh, turn on with the other pedal instead. So we're gonna change that to hundred, that to zero and click okay. And now you'll see these two turn uh, on and off together in theory. Oh, I see. I, what I did is <laughs> I made them opposite. Um, let's let's fix that. Uh, so I did that incorrectly. We'll go here. Um, oh, I see. We need to change this to pedal one. And the reason we do pedal one is, if you recall, um, on this screen, the CC value here that's number one. And so that's what we're changing here. We're saying attach the seven band EQ to whatever has CC value one, and that's that. Um, I'm gonna click okay. Now that's gonna be, actually it's the opposite now. So we're gonna fix that again. Uh, do, 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 Cause I changed it to that hundred. So we're gonna go back to zero. And now after this, they will change out. They will uh, work in tandem. Uh, do, 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 okay. Now you can see them light up in that, and then we can also control that one. Um, you will wanna save this preset when you're done with it. So you can click that and then save it wherever you'd like. Um, there was one other thing, what did I wanna do? Um, oh, what I was gonna say, this is an option that I sent. Now you could use all four of these things, uh, all four of these buttons for stuff. Um, but what I've done is I've changed this to program change uh, for both C and D here, this, these top two. And the idea is, and I have the first one, C set to decrement and D, uh, D set to increment. And what that does, here, when I click C, you'll see the whole thing turns to my presets here. So now I'm going up. So if I'm playing like a live show, um, this is what I'm gonna use to control my, my amp setting here. And so here I'm setting, let's go to this one. And then I'm on song number one. So when I'm on song one, I'll be here ready for song two, song three, song four. And in each one of these, you can map the pedals to do their own thing too. Um, and so you can kind of, so that, so you see in this one, I've already mapped the pedals. And so you can do that, save them, and it'll all work when you're playing your live gig. That's all I got here. Let me know if you have ideas.